Now the question is, do I open the second bottle of beer, or do I go to the water for the rest of the evening? This is a great question that needs a great answer. Beer! No, oh, well, Jam's spoken. Where's my bottle opener? Today it's beer of choice. Asahi. I actually prefer Sapporo over Asahi, but I don't have that available anymore. Quite bad, really. My two favorite, the, in, in the hierarchy of beers, at least Japanese beers, Sapporo, Kirin, Asahi. However, Morrison's, or at least my local Morrison's supermarket, no longer stocks the other two, but it has plenty of Asahi, so it is Asahi it is. Used to be the other way around. Couldn't get Asahi, but I could always get Sapporo or um, Kirin. Bit of shame, but whatever. Listen to the German. I will indeed listen to the German. Isn't that just playing to the stereotype? <laughs> I am German. I know of beers. That's like having somebody in, who's Scottish in the chat suddenly appear and say, I am Scottish, I know about beer. Uh, I, <laughs> sorry, about whiskey, even. Or Scotch, at any rate. I mean, they may know about beer as well. I'm not... Uh, in fairness, Brewdog is from Scotland. I definitely don't know beers, but have you seen those beer-serving girls from Bav Bavaria? How did I know women were going to become involved in this conversation? Good Lord Jam, this is why I love you. Anyway, yes, indeed I have. Indeed I have. Not a big fan of the twin tails. <laughs> or the, 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 not twin tails, the pigtails? I think it's pigtails. But otherwise, yes, it's me, indeed. <laughs> indeed it is you. I may have seen them in the tight leader hosen. Congratulations, Hutton. Ah! But well, have you seen a Japanese shrine maiden? I have. Only in passing. I missed out on meeting a couple of trainee geishas. I ended up going looking for Nintendo headquarters instead, so I sort of missed out on that one. Um, right, where are we going? We're going north, aren't we? Yes, we are going north, but we're not going this way north. We're going the other way north because there is a great rumour I have heard. Ah, this was a mistake! Good girl, Epona! Um, hold on. Uh, uh, this way. Whoa! Okay, I distinctly remember Miyamoto once mentioning, Yes, your horse will avoid the trees. That was a lie. Oh, right, I was also supposed to talk to this little girl about bugs. Um, I don't know where she's gone. Okay. There's Beetle. There's a ranch hand. There's another ranch hand. There is a doggo. There she is. Hello. Hey, mister. What's up? Hey, guess what I have? I have a secret. Want to know what it is? Tell me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Ready? Here it comes. My big sister Jenny hates dragonflies. Dragonflies? I once saw a picture of a warm downer and a cold downer and an electric downer and a book. But then I showed them to Jana and she was and said their eyes were creepy and got mad. Also, hello. Um, we shall send Ezio as our messenger to Nintendo headquarters to get drunk with Miyamoto and Ezio can, can pitch our Nintendo game ideas. Also, but we have invoked his name. Miyamoto! I can't remember where that running joke started, but I've done it for years. One day I'll do that at a convention and I'll probably just have him say, yes, hello. And I'd be like, oh, well, there we go. Also, we we'll redeem on the stretch. Okay, fine, blue. Ugh. I shall stretch, considering I was in the garden today moving giant limestone boulders around. So, I suppose a stretch would probably do me good. Uh, again. Also, why my glasses? My glasses are titanium. They don't need to stretch. And in fact, I went with titanium to stop them from stretching. Ah. Well, that and also I used to break the bridge of the glasses quite a lot because they used to bend out of shape, so. 
Ow. Wee. <laughs> One of these days I'll figure out how to get a soundboard to work so everyone can just start burning their points. Hey, titanium frames as well as transition lenses. If I go outside wearing my glasses and it's bright, the lenses will automatically darken into sunglasses mode. It's amazing. And also, I could not live without it at this point. Get the nerd! <laughs> the nerd who knows karate. Just... Oh, that's the secret, wasn't it? Jin's gonna be mad at me again. But I think that's because she's got pictures where all the close-up stuff, but real ones are super cute. When I grow up, I want to travel the world and meet some real dragonflies. The nerd hurt his hand doing karate. Inferno's fighting against a black belt. Yeah, okay. I, I hold my hands up to that one. And it wasn't so much hurt as slightly broken. Not really slightly. Slightly fragile. Slightly thin. It's splintered one of the bones. It's nothing too serious. Healed up in about five weeks. Um, hey. Hey. Mima? <laughs> hey. Oh, wait, what? Lou and Jam have become popular cheerleaders from 19 teen movies. <laughs> Yes, but they're not cheering me on, are they? Um. <laughs> anyway. No, no way! Of all things, she wants to see gross dragonflies! A warm Dana, a cold Dana, and an electric Dana! Three types! Oh, anything but dragonflies. Just thinking about their eyes makes me feel sick. I see. So Gleamer wants to kn knows that I despise dragonflies, and that's why she wouldn't tell me how much she loves them. Well, this is a birthday wish. I don't get a choice. Bring me a warm down or a cold down or an electric down, please. I want to surprise Gleamer, so don't tell her about this. Oh, well, we can't do that until we've got to... Uh, Grudo Desert. Okay, right, that's done. Unless there are electric downers here. Oh, two, oh, 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 wait, do I... I don't have a photo of an electric downer. I think they're all warm down here. I think the electric downers are only found in... You can buy them from Beedle. Okay. Well, when we come across Beedle with an electric... Do you know which Beedle I can get them from? Though? Okay, it's the same Beedle, I know, but... You know which stable I can get them uh, that he's selling them at? Because I don't think he sells them at this one. Well, we've already checked this one and he's selling lizards instead. Also, we need to collect some furries because we've completely burnt out on furries. Boo, Beetle! Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Beetle. I like Beetle. Right, there should be, apparently, a fairy fountain around here. Or I could be mistaken. It's the Riverside Stable. Okay, right, I shall check. I don't think I've got the Riverside Stable on the map yet. Actually, no, I might. I don't know how to find out. There's a pigeon. Brains. That's a tree. None of these look like a furry fountain yet. Oh, wait. It's in a cave. I can't remember. I think there's one in a cave. I could be very wrong, though. Um. I'm sure there's a furry fountain around. And I'm a bit loath to check the map on the principle of I want to try and find it myself first, but I might just cave in the end. Oh. Okay, so it's that. There we go. Like Boko Club. Fair enough. You okay? 
Uh, the easiest way to get some electric darners is to just buy them. Head to Riverside Stable via Wagyu Kata Shrine. Check with Beedle. He will have a few electric darners for sale for 10 rupees each. On that point, I wonder if I've already got some in my inventory. No. Okay, fair enough. Hello. This? Oh, ah, that hurts worse. my pride worse than letting them get the drop on me. Never again. You seem to get around. Know much about Kilton of the Fang and Bone? I've heard of him. Ah, and here I thought there was some... Uh, it, it was some... Yeah, more skill than that. Well, I'll tell you what little I know. Take this for helping me. Monster extract, nice. It's called monster extract. A guy named Kilton brews this stuff up at Fang and Bone. It's kind of a, a flavouring that makes any food taste amazing. I know it's made of monsters, but it's good stuff. Mm. There are some weird stories going around about Kilt, this Kilton character. He's obsessed with monsters. They say he does all kinds of hair raising research with them and came up with a bunch of strange stuff as a result. I kind of want to meet him at least once to see if the rumours are true, but he's a hard guy to track down. Oh, son of a dingus, I have to buy all the stuff from Kilton, don't I? Oh. Oh, goody gumdrops. Right. Ezio hasn't gotten gold membership in Wind Waker. No, not yet. Um. One source I trust says he's most often found at skull -shaped, the, the skull-shaped lake in Akala, but I don't know the place. Okay, cool. Well, we'll go there eventually. First, let's find this fairy fountain. Now what, to save time? Good job. Good job. Really lagging that far behind, or is that just my preview plane in Chrome? Hold on, we must investigate immediately. Uh, burp, 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 burp. No, it was just Chrome lagging behind. Marvellous. Right, okay. So... I'm on the wrong side of the lake. I mean, it's not the end of the world, because we've got a bit of monster extract, but we're on the wrong side of the lake. Fantastic. Uh, right, let's go back this way. Bona! Go left! Oh yes, our horses are designed to go around trees, because real horses don't crash into trees. That was a different type of bird. I get the feeling I should have got a photo of that bird. If you go for gold membership, it involves buying bait over and over again, hearing the words THANK YOU every time, just so you chuck it overboard and do it again. Oh goody! Now I understand your distaste for beetle. Or maybe I don't need a photo because I, what I thought was a random bird was actually just a random songbird and they don't matter. Maybe. Possibly. Right, so we go around Lake Kala. Around Lake Kala. There we go. There's Beetle. Beetle! A man who in the ancient past outrigged his shop to fly based on bicycle power now wanders across Hyrule with a backpack on his back. Oh look, some guardians. Fantastic. That's a lot of guardians. Are they randomly just sat there? You know what, never mind. I'm gonna ignore them. Hello. Actually, you know what, we've not run into the Yiga clan for a while yet. I've already got a picture of a fire keys. Oh, sorry, opponent. Yep. Hmm? Oh, mama. Cool. Also, oh, wow, a couple of dead off horses. Cool. Cool. Oh wait, have I got a- Ow! Oh, Gordon Bennett! That hit me for a lot of health. Uh... Ooh, 
I've not got one of those yet, I think. What's mine now? Right, well, that was interesting. Oh, I've seen those though. Um, what weapons can I drop? None, really. Okay, well, stay there then. Um, Amara Jam's favourite streamer. I've only seen a handful of clips of Amara. I cannot say that her streams appeal to me. But hey, more power to you if they do. <laughs> Each to their own, I suppose. Right. What am I doing? Still on the wrong side of the lake. Got it. We're going this way. This is interesting. Look how fast the moon moves. I have to admit, this place is very tranquil. I like it. You know, right up until the fire keys show up and start setting me on fire, or the lightning strikes start happening and I have to run around without any weapons. We need more of that in this game. <laughs> Go on, damn it. Right, that looks like the Shrine of Power, or whatever it is. Oh, wait a minute. The furry fountain I'm thinking of is probably just the Shrine of Power in it. That's really annoying. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, no. No, it is a great fairy fountain. Okay, cool. Right, I just have to find the blasted thing now. Um, apparently, here. Ah, uh, let's edit that to something that's a bit better. Right, off the beaten track, though I might have to actually, um, how do I get down there? Oh, look, there's Terry Town. Um, So apparently the, uh, the only time you really get proper music is when you're riding a horse. Ah, there we go. I don't... Oh, yes, no, the fairies do spawn without activating the Great Fairy Fountain. Marvel. Also a lot of Amarath here. Let's resupply after that slight incident with the Guardian. And other things. I think that's all of them. Roy? Yeah, no, that's all of them. Cool. Boy! Sweet boy, please listen to my story. I am a great furry mage. Ah, hail, Keith Hydra. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rubies. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg 
need your help. I need rupees to become old again. All I need is 500 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me quickly. In order for me to regain my power, I need 500 rupees. Okay, here you go. Uh, no, dear. Right. <clears throat> Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power that's overflowing. <laughs> oh my. That's a her style and a half. Oh, what's called a pompadour. Hmm. So you're the one who released me. Oh, I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine. Yes. Oh my. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothes, but I require the necessary materials to do it. Oh. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Enhance away. Then please, choose some clothes for me. Uh, oh. I need shards of Farish's horn. Well, I need a notepad. <laughs> At least for the moment. I, I might just look up a list of things to upgrade, but... Um, to... Farosh... Horn. I've just realised, though, I don't have the thing to make it reset. I don't have the thing available to make it reset, so fantastic. Um... We can enhance our hood, however. So we're going to do that. Uh. Cool. That's now better. Uh, yes, please. Uh... Actually, furnace, we've got enough, so yeah. He is pretty fabulous. Yeah, she is very fabulous. There's a... She's a... There's a Japanese style like, about this, isn't there? I can't remember what it is. all about vibrant colours and fanciness. There we go. Hillian trousers. This is why we hoard all of the things. Let's upgrade. Oh, oh Lizophos horns. Yeah, I think we're good. So this is going to take us a while, I think. Go defense has gone up by one level. Uh -uh. Oh wait, that's upgraded one level. Oh no, we can get it upgraded again? Also, we need five Hillian Bass for it. Oh! No, oh, I may have just made a mistake. I may need to go and find myself a lot of Hillian Bass. Oh, Gordon Bennett, there's going to be a lot of farming involved in this, isn't there? Oh! Right, now the most important piece of armor in our inventory, our engagement ring. Well, engagement tunic. I think. Armor. <laughs> Which we would wear all the time, apart from the fact that the the champion tunic just has a much better bonus on it than the Zora armor. 
Got armor, even. Oh, Greaves. Oh, cool. Right, oh yeah, we've not upgraded these, so we'll upgrade them twice. Which will give us, I assume, less stamina burnt when swimming? So in furnace with this set bonus we technically have everything as strong as our normal armor gear so yeah we could technically walk around in the zora armor all the time if we wanted to it's not quite the same style but all blight except really dark tan all bright except really dark tan oh fair enough ah kangaroo that's the one i'm thinking of kangaroo yes i think so mr linkido hello Hey all, I'm seven. Welcome. Mr. Linkido, good Bennett. Right, uh Sunset Ah Rod. I don't have enough sunset fireflies. That's annoying. Um High Tail Lizards. I don't have enough high tail lizards either. Bother. Oh well we'll upgrade what we can and then we'll Figure out the rest from there. This is only up the first level. Oh, right. You couldn't upgrade this previously? That seems a bit weird. Oh, no. Yeah, no, it is upgraded the second level. Right, so we need more Sunset Fireflies. We need more high tail Lizards. Though in Furnace, we can just keep buying them all off Beetle whenever we run into him, and that should kind of work in our favour, in theory. When we have to start farming star bits, it's going to be rather annoying. Oh. I'm gone. Bye. Right, okay. That's another job done. Down from there. And that has Great Fairy Fountain listed anyway, but we know whereabouts it is. So now we just have to find the Shrine of Power. Which is somewhere around here. Oh, it's there. Right, okay. How are we going to... We're not. We're going to go and talk to Thingy instead. Where are you, Pona? Well, there you are. Why? I got stealth up. Oh, I must have eaten a meal with my stealth. Ah. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, Sorry, no. How do I... Bother. Right, round three. Smaller tree. Here. Uh, and around. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Right, that's another thing on the map then. Oh. Pay any attention to. Ah, hold on. Right. Can at least save ourselves a bit of strife now by collecting a bunch of uh, fireflies. Get enough of these, then we can get the rest of our Sheikah armor upgraded, which will be quite nice. Right. Okay. My tail lizard as well. I needed one of those. Oh, Gordon Bennett, that took out so much of my health. Ugh. 
Why oh, yeah, do they hit so hard? Hey. Ooh. <gasps> it's a royal bow! That's why it hits so hard. God, Bennett. Right, cool. Right, we've got a royal bow, people. Hold tight, Perna. I'll be back in a minute. I just need to go and talk to a lady about a mushroom. About a, uh, an upgrade, even. A couple of silent princesses as well. And some Majora carrots. Well, now they got this far north. Right. If I sit in the Great Furry Fountain, does it heal me? Lame. Was you losing my mind with Microsoft as they wouldn't cancel my Game Pass? What? Boom. Hands away. There we go. The last one. Oh. Yes. <laughs> there we go. have it. Cool. Right. Does that tell me what this does? Uh, stealth up suppresses. Oh! Oh, no, hold on. Oh, right, no, that's just telling me that I've got a stealth upgrade in place. Um... Oh, right, I've not fully upgraded everything, have I? Oh, I need more Hightail Lizard. Fair enough. Come speed up. Fence by two levels. So does the game actually tell me what it does in terms of its step set bonus? Or is it just going to sit there and say, yeah, no, we've upgraded it twice, so there you go. Or is swim up the double bonus upgrade that I needed? Wait, what? Oh, right, I should probably heal as well. That would be an idea. I have no idea how that works. That's sort of against the game on that one. Um, there we go. Problem solved. My horse. This is over here. There's a squirrel. This is a horse. Isn't there supposed to be a shrine or something here? Oh no, it might be a Korok seed underneath this rocky bit. I, I remember there being something here. Oh yeah, that, 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 the Korok seed. <laughs> we'll come back for that in a bit. Harry Town! A goddess statue, nice! Yo, Hudson! Oi! Hey. We meet again. What are you, uh, who are you again? I'm one of Bolson Construction Contractors. Name's Hudson. I remember. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing? Since I've been transferred here, I've decided to build this village from scratch. Every village needs a name. Or I'd call this Terrytown. Good idea. This dude is a mob psycho. Is into mob psycho. I can tell. Yeah, I can see that. However, what's wrong? I built a house to store the village supplies in, but there just isn't enough. Enough what? Enough of anything. People, money, stuff. I'll help out. But why? There's nothing in it for you. I don't mind. You're a lifesaver. Well, I suppose to get started, we'll need houses for people to live in. We can invite that we can't invite them until we have homes. 
Do you think you can bring me ten bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can combine it with what I've already got to get started on new homes. How many bundles of wood do I have? This is the question. Um, don't think I've got ten. But we can soon get ten. I stand corrected. We have ten. 